Guys, we need your help. This project is sponsored by PCBWay. More on that later. Hi guys, uh, this is Sam from the Kranto Poster Shop. And in today's video, I will show you a new project that we are working on. Uh, this project will help you to speed up your resin printer the right way. Uh, this device is called a force sensor and like all the other projects uh, we have, it, it will be 100% open source and this time I need your help uh, for this project. I will have a few board to give away uh, to people who want to, uh, to be involved in this new adventure. Uh, you can uh, go to this part of the, uh, the, the, of the video uh, to know more about. First of all, the, this idea is not new. If you are a member of our Discord community, you may be familiar with Nico, the founder of Concepts 3D. Uh, they developed uh, the Athena, a smart MSLA printer with tons of features. Uh, this printer has a, a force sensor uh, on it that can detect uh, all sorts of things like peel detection, crash detection, fail print and more. Uh, Nico proposed us, uh, to, to send us uh, one of his device to test. You might have seen you might have seen it in the last uh, Earth uh, Festival where we had displayed our Prometheus machine. Uh, unfortunately, we could not have used this device as is because uh, detection firmware and algorithm need to be developed, and the one from Concept 3D is is not open source. The team and I uh, have uh, this on our to-do list for more than a year. We discussed and we decided to go our own way with the hardware and software based on Nico's uh, idea, but fully open source. Before jumping into the PCB stuff, I need to show you what this does and how it can improve your print speed. For those who are not familiar with MSLA printing, uh, the process begins by exposure of the resin at the bottom of the vat and when it's done, the printer arm lifts the printed part. Because of the suction, we need a certain force to peel it off. So every time the arm is moving up, it creates a peak. That peak represents the peeling of the part. Normally, you need to lift by a good distance to make sure that everything is properly peeled off. The thing is, when the part you are printing becomes smaller, the lifting requirement is reduced. In your printer setting, you can set a single lifting distance, so in almost all cases, you waste a lot of time by lifting your arm. The force sensor device is there basically to tell your printer to stop lifting. Fully open source means that all the project files will be available to everyone. For now, you will have access to the schematic and PCB design. Everything about the code and firmware will be available later because nothing much has been done uh, before uploading this video and this is why I need your help. The link for the GitHub repository is in the video description. With that being said, it's time to order PCBs. This project was sponsored by PCBWay, one of my favorite online PCB manufacturers. I remember the time when I was making my own PCB with strong acid and stuff. Now, it's so easy to order and quickly have your prototype directly at your door. Simply upload your Gerber files to their online tools and choose your specification. They are also offering a ton of other services like 3D printing and CNC manufacturing. Click on the link below to know more. Thank you PCB Way. The package arrived. For this project, I asked them if I could try their assembly services. Sure, I'm fully equipped in my workshop to do it myself, but having to do a single order for PCBs, components and assembly is an interesting offer. I wanted to review the final result to see if in the future I could trust them with other projects. Like always, everything was super fast delivery. I ordered few backups PCB if ever I need them and I ordered 5 po populated ones. I just didn't ask to put the microcontroller on it because it was a bit more expensive due to its more complicated pads. Also, it takes me about less than a minute to install, so why bother?
honestly for the price of a small batch like that is really attractive. Everything went smoothly and I have nothing to say about the quality of the solder joint or placement. Before going too far, they even contacted me before finishing the other to see if everything was installed properly. Guys, we need your help. As you know, I'm an artist, not a programmer. So developing something that will work nicely will probably not be possible by myself. We already have a few members on the Prometheus project, but I would like to have uh, people to, uh, that will be interested to work on this project. As we mentioned on our Discord, we are developing the fully open source OS Odyssey for a resin printer and implementing this kind of tech will be a game changer for everyone. I will have a few dozen of force sensor to give away to people. Just write a comment down below uh, if you want to be part of this awesome project. So what we have here is the first prototype of the force sensor. Obviously. Uh, few a few things will change uh, on top we have a little OLED screen and this is clickable so this button can be assigned to to do all sort of thing like calibration and stuff uh, and all around it we have the addressable LED and at the back the micro microcontroller RP2040 and the uh, load cell uh, driver we have uh, two uh, two channel for two load cell obviously those rgbs are not there only for visual purposes they will make your printer faster only by themselves i hope you are as excited as i am about this don't forget to join our discord to have the latest news about projects leave a comment like share and subscribe Thank <laughs> you.